275 carry on that must be nice oh <laughs> that was 275.1 and that's going to stay just off the green that's fine there what a great shot from Big breaker from the right. Touched it really well. Ferguson, go on. Yeah, lovely putt from our leader. That'll settle him right down. All co-leaders now at 12 under par. Just a chop out for Ferguson. Oh, and that's just nestled up against the collar. So first mistake from him. I think Gary misheard me. I said 50 feet. <laughs> Did he not hear that properly? I can see you with your shovel over there trying to dig yourself out. It's possible to go at this green. Over the ditch. Saw a few yesterday. Have a crack. Not for Ferguson though. Doesn't need to in the lead. Let's knock it down the fairway. It's just a wedge from there. Soft arms, also good key on these kind of shots. Just flight it down a little. Yeah, top shot there from Ferguson. Dialed in on number four. After bogey in the last, that'll really make him feel good, that shot. Yeah, really nice bounce back, and he's been hard to catch. He established a four-shot lead on day one. He got it back to one after Friday, but he's three ahead now. Well, that looks beautiful, doesn't it? Straight down the fairway for our leader. He's just got to play tee to green stuff now, really. Easy said than done. Needs to cover that front right portion though. Just, just enough. Just is good enough. But it's solid enough. Challenging hole nine back into the breeze. Par four, playing 508. So it's a must find fairway for Ferguson. Mortar down the left, which is more in play today. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh my. Now, I've seen a few go down there that not necessarily have gone in into the water. And I'm hearing it is dry, but it's in the penalty area. Don't really hack it forward, so 112, chance to save his par. That's a good job. Massive chance here to escape the par and no damage. Well, he has been caught. You and Ferguson. It happened yesterday to him. In fact, Filippo Celli led him at one point in round three. But he's back alongside Richard Mansell now. That's an aggressive line. Ferguson down the right. It's good now. It's good now. We're into the back nine now in what is our final event on the UK swing. Is it's just you, it's just a little white ball and a stick, and so many things can go on in your brain whilst you stand over that ball for 30 seconds. It's incredible. Oh, and he got away with that. Ferguson, was a good shot with a nine on this 600 yarder, yeah. I, I came out uh, just after that had finished, but I, I spoke to uh, Brendan after, and 
you know, what I've, I've done a few uh, exhibition stuff with the disabled girls, having to play with your eyes, trying to play blindfolded, trying to pitched up to here. This for Birdie. He's in a battle now. You and Ferguson. It's never easy. And he makes it super birdie right. for the Scot. Keep his concentration up. Trying to land it just in on the green. Should release nicely. Shot. Yeah, played that nicely. Back foot jabber. If you're not sure, put it off the back foot and hit down on it. Pop up for Ferguson, and he makes it. One under for his round so far. Leads by one, but... Ferguson, but just something under the hole. Short right's perfect. Good swing, great result. Big chance for Birdie here. Yeah, good shot from Ferguson below the hole. Yeah, good play. Very tidy. This is just a scuttler out with a bit of hook. Try pitch it about 140. Tops. It'll run like it stole something. Now the issue is shot. What a shot that was from you and Ferguson. to do for Ferguson on 15. Just a little heavy handed from Ferguson so he's got mount in this firm inside the hole does it. Big putt, big putt for you and Ferguson. What a four. He's thinking six on the tee. Walks away. There's full commitment in that one from Ewan Ferguson. That's miles up there. It's just a bitch. Bold play. Leading that at 14 under. That's Ferguson. Super shot from him. Out of the rough. Just a lob wedge, though. To 16. The women's leaderboard looks to short. How has that stayed out? I'm going to aim a little bit further right on shots like these with less body work. Just like that. Yeah, nice shot. Got away with it off the tee. Smart play for Ferguson. Doesn't need to hit the driver. Iron. Well done. Couple of chips up the fairway, and it's his. I wasn't sure if he was going to do that. He hasn't done it the last couple of holes. He hasn't done it all week. No. He's <laughs> smashed everything. Breakout season for this man. Already won this year in Qatar. He's going to have another one, two in a season. 26-year-old. Smart shot from our champion, Ewan Ferguson. 
It's a wire to wire victory from you and Ferguson. He's now a two time winner on the DP World Tour. From the brilliance on Thursday in that course record 61. Ewan, congratulations. That's a wire to wire victory, 12 under for the tournament as well. Now your second victory in your rookie season. How does this feel? Yeah, it feels unbelievable. Just can't believe how, how calm I was out there today. I think it couldn't have worked out any better playing with Connor. Like, I felt although like I played with him the first two days and he was playing so, so good. And I felt although he was my main my main rival for the day. So managing to play with him and just kind of holding each other off and trying to keep up with each other was was so good. And just can't believe I'm a winner again. Your parents are relatively nervous watchers and your brother is a big support as well. Mm -hmm. They're probably hiding behind the sofas. Did you say that you gave your dad a call and he didn't even pick up? I called him. He's probably at the club buying the full club drinks, so that's probably why. Uh, there was, my mum and dad were actually supposed to be there this week, but the last tournament they watched didn't go so well, so I, I banned them for the week because I said that I need to focus, you know. So went in the office and, and managed to finish it off. On a more serious note, understanding how close your whole family is, how much of a difference has their support given you uh, throughout, I guess, your short career already? Yeah, of like my dad, my brother and my dad are just like everything for, for my golf. So like everything, my full family's life is like revolves around me playing golf. Like that their happiness is all, seems like it's all about me, like my golf. So um, it's been a good year and obviously you get times where it doesn't go so well. So I think you really need to appreciate times where you're picking up trophies or you're making cuts and you're doing all right because it's a, it's a really tough game. You said one of your goals earlier this week was to get into the DP World Tour Championship. Was that lingering in your mind at all? Uh, actually it was a wee bit. When I went back to like tie the lead I was thinking, oh, well if I still finish second I'll, I'll maybe still get in the, the World Tour final event in Dubai. I love Dubai so um, I really want to go there and just <laughs> Connor's doing that walk down the step thing again sir, so, that I was doing <laughs> earlier remember. So no it was just uh, so good that I'm going to be there now and I was going to play six weeks in a row coming up and Connor thought I was crazy so might take a week off, week off somewhere now. <laughs> Overall 61 to start off the week and yeah. now you're walking away from the trophy, how are you going to celebrate? Just with a Sprite and, a sprite and Blackcurrant, aren't we Connor? <laughs> Splitting Brad Kurt, yeah. Oh, he's got Budweiser, so <laughs> he's, he's a big, big drink. <laughs> well, congratulations again. Enjoy the moment. Thanks so much. Thank you. To watch another DP World Tour video, click here. And to subscribe, click here.